The movie starts with two boys, Daniel and Alex Le Damas, running through the corridors of a mansion. Daniel hides his brother in a cabinet. Just then, a man comes up to him and begs for help. But Daniel does help and starts shouting. He's in here! The rest of the Le Damas family rush into the room and shoot another arrow at the man. Helene, the bride, begs them to stop. When they drag the man away, Helene tries to calm down and accept what's happening. The scene shifts 30 years later, where Grace is sitting in her wedding dress in Alex Le Damas' room. She's getting married to Alex Le Damas. However, his family doesn't like her because they think that she's just a gold digger. But Grace loves Alex more than anything and can't wait to marry him. Just then, Daniel shows up and tells them that everyone is waiting for them outside. Before the wedding, Alex tells her that she can still back out, but Grace just kisses him. After that, they go to the courtyard, where her wedding pictures are taken. The Le Damas family is full of weird-ass people. The creepy Aunt Helene, Alex's brother Daniel and his arrogant wife Charity, the dad Tony, and the loving mom Becky. The wedding finally starts, and the new couple happily walks down the aisle together. After the night of partying, they go to Daniel's room to relax. But just as Grace thought they'd finally make love, Aunt Helene shows up and tells them that the family is waiting for them. Seeing this, Grace is confused, and Alex explains to her that the Le Damas family has a tradition of welcoming new members. At midnight after the wedding, the new member has to play a game with the rest of the family to honor the Le Damas family's famous board game company. Okay. Grace is very excited to play the game. The rest of the family is waiting for her downstairs in the music room. Alex's mom Becky goes up to Grace and requests that she get Alex to stay close to the family and finally step up as the true successor of the Le Damas throne, carrying on the family's legacy. Grace doesn't understand it, but she promises to do so. Just then, Alex's drug-addicted sister Emily and her shady husband Fitch arrive at the house with their two children. Tony Le Damas leads the family to the game room and tells them about their family background and what the game is about. In short, their grandfather Victor Le Damas met a magician named Mr. LeBail, who gave him a strange box. After this event, Mr. LeBail donated a massive amount to Victor, and to honor him, the family plays a game with this box every time they're about to welcome a new member to the family. The rules are simple, a blank card is put inside the box, and then Mr. LeBail will decide what game they should play for the night. Grace simply has to pull out the card and read it out loud. Hide and seek? Are we really gonna play that? Suddenly, everyone in the room goes quiet. Grace has no idea what's about to happen and is still excited for the game. Grace is told to hide while the family counts to 100 and plays hide and seek. Tony Le Damas assures her that they will turn off all the security cameras because they want it to be the old-fashioned way. Good luck. <laughs> After that, Grace hides while the rest of the family, except for Alex, starts to get ready with old guns. Behind closed doors, Alex looks very upset in the game room, while Grace hides in a dumbwaiter. Becky tells him to stay inside the room while his family goes to hunt Grace. Charity is assigned to keep an eye on the door to make sure Alex stays inside. However, Alex sneaks out through a hidden door that leads to the servant's corridor. When Charity walks in, she finds that Alex is already gone. Fuck me. Soon, Grace gets bored inside the dumbwaiter and gets out. Just then, she hides from a servant who is looking for one of the kids who got up early. Suddenly, Alex pulls Grace to hide, just as the wandering servant walks into the room looking for the missing kid. But then, George? Emily accidentally kills the servant with a gun, and Grace is shocked as fuck. The family looks at the body and tells Emily that she is fucked up. They both wait for the family to drag the body away. Alex then tells her that this is happening because Grace pulled the one bad card, which was hide and seek. And now the family thinks that they have to kill Grace before dawn or something bad will happen to the family. They both sneak into the servant's hallway and Grace breaks down in tears. What I need the fuck is going on? I need you to Alex thought she wouldn't pull that card because it's very unlikely. Alex tells her that he will protect her and tells her to go down the hallway and exit through the kitchen while he goes to the security room to unlock all the doors. The couple switch ways and Grace rips off the skirt of her wedding dress so that she can walk easily. At the end of the hall, she finds two doors and picks the left one. And when she goes out, she finds the family there. She turns around to run and Emily starts shooting blindly. She misses all the shots and Grace slips past her. When Grace tries to escape, she finds that all the windows and doors are locked. She's scared as fuck and leans against a wall. But then... Daniel walks into the room. Luckily, he walks past her and grabs the whiskey on the pool table. He tells her that he doesn't want to hurt her, but he must call others to get her. 
He gives her a 10 second head start and then shouts out loud. She's in the study! Grace runs for her life and everyone rushes into the room but Grace is gone. Just then, drunk Emily accidentally shoots a servant again. Oh my god! Helene is angry about what's going on and reminds them that they have to kill Grace before dawn. Becky thinks that they should break the old tradition rules and use the security cameras to save time. All of them accept this idea and continue finding Grace. Grace stops in front of the game room and takes a shotgun from the display. She then goes to the kitchen and waits for Alex to open the door. Just then, the butler enters the kitchen and Grace immediately hides. On the other hand, Alex just walked into the security room and turned on the cameras again, but he couldn't open the doors. Open the fucking doors! Meanwhile, Grace realizes that the shotgun is empty and carefully loads it, while the butler casually makes coffee for himself. Alex has finally managed to open the doors. This alerts the butler, and he moves closer to check, while Grace sneaks up behind him with a shotgun. But when she pulls the trigger, the ammunition is display only. She then smashes the teapot on his head. Meanwhile, Tony is banging on the security room's door. Open the goddamn door! Alex starts destroying the security cam's control panel. Tony finally breaks into the room and lashes out at Alex, but Alex easily pins him down. That's my wife! Daniel steps in and tries to calm him down and Alex begs him to help Grace, but then... <laughs> However, Grace is already running through the halls, searching for a place to hide. When she opens the dumbwaiter again, she sees a scared worker hiding inside. But then, she's over here. <laughs> she then accidentally presses the button of the dumbwaiter and it starts closing, crushing the servant to death. Grace starts running again. Back in Alex's room, he is being handcuffed to the bed while he is still unconscious. Aunt Helene believes that Alex will change his mind and stop helping Grace once he realizes that he is the future leader of the Le Damas family. Meanwhile, Grace can hear them right outside the window. Grace then decides to jump in the garden and lands on a bunch of bushes. She immediately runs and hides inside the barn. Just then, she sees someone walking around with a torch. Georgie? Oh, thank God. Okay. Grace comes out of hiding, but then... She gets so angry that she knocks out the child with a single punch. Then she gets scared by a goat and falls into a ditch. Now Grace is surrounded by rotten corpses. She gags at the smell and has a hard time climbing up with an injured hand. However, as she gets to the top, the ladder falls under her, and she uses her injured hand to hold on, but it lands on a nail. Even though it hurts miserably, she manages to climb up and step out of the ditch. She then rips off her sleeve and bandages her hand with it. When she runs out of the barn, Charity spots her and tries to shoot her. She goes back inside and tells the butler that Grace is outside. Grace finally gets to the fence outside and sees a car coming. She squeezes out of the fence while shouting for help. But when she gets outside, the car only drives away. Grace becomes very frustrated. When Grace sees a car leaving La Doma's house, she runs into the woods. It turns out it's the butler, who immediately informs his boss that Grace has left the building. Now, Tony La Doma's and his family are convinced that they will all die by morning if Grace survives. Unlike the rest of the family, Daniel doesn't believe in this superstition. He gets into an argument with his dad, and Tony starts to doubt his son's loyalty. When Alex Le Damas finally wakes up in his bedroom, he has a hard time trying to free his handcuffs. At the same time, Daniel and Emily go to the barn to get rid of the corpses of the dead workers. Daniel thinks the whole family deserves to die, but Emily doesn't agree. Mommy? They even find Georgie at the barn. Back to Grace. She comes out of hiding and runs through a field while the butler chases her in a car. He finally gets out of the car and fights with Grace on the ground. Come here, Grace! Finally, Grace manages to choke him unconscious with a torn piece of her dress. After that, she drives off with the car. While driving, she calls a car helpline and tells them to call the cops. He does as asked, but also informs her that the car she's driving has been reported stolen, which is against company policy, and he will have to shut the car down. The car stops all of a sudden. Grace is very frustrated and tired, so she decides to take a break. Okay, you're okay, you're okay. Just then. <laughs> the butler shows up and shoots Grace with a drug, and she instantly goes unconscious. Moments later, Grace wakes up tied in the back seat of the car while the butler drives and makes a video call to the family. But then Grace hits him in the head several times, causing a car accident. 
However, Grace is completely fine and makes it out of the crash alive. Daniel then shows up with a shotgun in his hands. He says he doesn't want her to die, but he's too weak and can't fight against his family. She tries to reassure him that the curse is not real and that no one will die in the morning. It's bullshit! But then, Daniel knocks her out with a shotgun and his dad Tony steps out from behind the trees. He secretly followed Daniel to test his loyalty. On the other hand, Becky visits Alex and tells him that she knows that he will eventually start helping the family instead of Grace. Alex refuses and tells her that he'll save Grace as she is different from everyone. Meanwhile, Grace's family is getting ready to sacrifice her to Mr. LaBelle. When Grace wakes up, she is tied to the dinner table and the rest of her family is performing a creepy-ass satanic ritual around her. Everyone drinks from a beaker and Tony is ready to kill Grace with a knife. Just then, Brother? it turns out that Daniel has poisoned his family to save Grace. He frees her from her chains and leads her out of the room. Back in the bedroom, Alex finally manages to free himself too. Daniel and Grace try to escape through the halls, but Daniel's wife Charity stops them and points a gun at them. Daniel doesn't step out of the way, so Charity shoots him in the throat. Grace gets angry and fights Charity. She knocks her out and then goes to check on Daniel, who is dying. He tells her to go. Thank you. Thank you. Grace goes on her way, but this time, Tony stops her. She grabs a lamp and hits him in the head. She then throws the lantern to the ground and runs away. When Alex looks for Grace, he finds his dying brother instead. He holds Daniel as he dies. This tragic event deeply affects him. Inside the dining room, Becky finds Grace. The two start to fight on the floor. But I'm not gonna let you hurt my family. Grace is frustrated and starts hitting her head repeatedly, killing her. Just then, Alex shows up. He is shaking out of fear and walks up to Grace and touches her. She's in here! The deaths of his brother and mother have forced him to switch sides. The rest of the family walks into the room and gets ready to do the ritual again. They don't know that the lantern fire set earlier is starting to spread all over the mansion. They hold Grace down on the table while Alex gets ready to stab her in the chest. Grace moves away from the knife and manages to slip away from their grip. Luckily, a ray of light passes through the gap in the curtains, and it is revealed that their time is up since it's already morning. The rest of the family shrieks away in fear because they are scared as fuck of the curse that is supposed to occur. Nothing's happening. Everyone seems to be okay now. However, Aunt Helene is still sure that Grace has to die. That girl's still dying! She suddenly explodes into pieces. After Helene, one by one, every member of the Le Damas family starts to explode into pieces. Grace starts laughing in a creepy way and Alex approaches her as he is scared as fuck and begs her for comfort. But now, Grace hates him and wants a divorce. Then she sees the brief, misty shape of a man at the dinner table. It's actually Mr. LaBelle. Grace walks out of the burning house, covered in blood and grime and lights a cigarette on the front stoop. Just then, the police arrive and ask her what happened. In-laws. And the movie ends. Subscribe to watch more movie recaps like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.